Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. I wanted to talk about what life is like. What my art stuff is like. Because <laughs> it's not been a good time. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing, like, no art at all for myself recently. And it's really upsetting because, like, I want to do art, but I also don't want to do art. Um, this is my first semester and my only semester, of course as a full-time art student so that is number one extremely exciting but number two also extremely different um these past semesters it's always been um part art part anthropology for the most part or all anthropology or anthropology and something else so i've always been doing school work so my old de-stressor is doing my artwork and how i procrastinate is do my artwork and do my art thing but now that my semester is all art I feel like art is not a break <laughs> the last thing I want to do after drawing all day and arting all day is not art <laughs> and then I don't know what to do and I just sit there and I'm like doing nothing because I don't feel like drawing. And I'm like, what is my life without art? What do I do without without this? <laughs> so, yeah, that's the thing. Um, I've had tons of fun making stuff for my art classes and that has been taking up a good majority of my time. Um, I actually never thought that a semester of just drawing and painting and printmaking and such would be so stressful. Um, maybe I um, underestimated uh, art students <laughs> and their major, if that makes sense. Um, I, I mean, I have been an art major this whole time, but of course, I haven't been an art student, if that makes sense. I haven't been very involved in this major. Um, this major has really just been a side project to my anthropology major, which was always my main major, um, even though I really had wanted to do art since I took my very first drawing class, and I ended up doing it as a major too, so, I mean, I guess I got both of the things I wanted, <laughs> so that's nice, but anyways, pretty much what I have been doing all day is my, okay, my, my Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are all drawing from life and drawing models and stuff and that's all well and good and fun and then I've got printmaking in the afternoon where I'm cutting linoleum and scratching zinc <laughs> and then running my plates through printing presses and making pretty pieces and it's really fun actually I didn't know what to expect from printmaking but I'm really enjoying it and I think I might take it up as a hobby if that makes sense just something to do in my free time just because I had a lot of fun with it I don't really want to leave it um, it doesn't seem like the hardest hobby to do at home unlike ceramics which you kind of need a studio for or painting which you need a separate room for just because you need really good ventilation to do oil painting or you at least should have really good ventilation unless you really want to kill yourself with your fumes and everything it's really not safe to not have ventilation but i can i can talk about that later <laughs> the nice thing with um printmaking is it's just you don't even really need a printing press to print um we i actually went to a presentation where people were jumping and stamping on their prints to print them so that was really Oh, really cool. I think my favorite type of printmaking thus far is um, lino prints, which is just relief printing where you carve away everything that you don't want and you leave the high points as what you do want to be printed, and that's really fun for me. Um, anyways, um, that's just kind of what I've been doing. I've also been doing oil painting, which has been a lot of fun. I have learned a crap ton. <laughs> already um the improvement i have made with painting is crazy i'll have to um show off my schoolwork in a couple of videos at some point 
what has been suffering is my work outside of class because I don't feel like drawing. Um, pretty much the most I ever do is doodles in my sketchbook. And while they turn out super cute and amazing, they don't really, they aren't really great art. Really, the last couple of pieces I've done that were like serious art pieces. I apologize for my guinea pig drinking in the background. Where um, I did a draw this in your style recently. I have a girl blowing bubblegum, and she's super cute and everything. Um, I drew the starters. If you guys want to check that out, they're really cute. I couldn't help myself. They were so adorable. I had to draw them. And um, the second I learned about them, um, I drew Lily White from Love Live. And that's about all I have done so far since coming back. And that is not a lot because we are at midterms, meaning we are halfway through the semester and I don't have a lot done. Um, really where I've been doing all my work is in my schoolwork just because I've had a lot of art to do. And I'm just like, if I'm going to art, might as well put it into homework rather than my own personal stuff. So I feel like my own personal stuff has fallen to the wayside. Um, which is kind of a shame because I would love to do more work and I really have like the passion to draw and to make more stuff and I really want to make stuff and I want to make drawings and everything and I want to start my comic and I go, oh I got so many ideas in my head and there's so many things that I want to do but here I am and I'm like no I don't want to do it because just so much of my time is spent on art <laughs> so this is Really what I have to say is the downside to an art major you just don't ever feel like doing your own stuff in your free time. Um, because you're always working on stuff for your classes. You don't wanna you don't wanna do stuff for yourself because you're like, oh, I just drew. I don't wanna draw again. I don't wanna keep drawing. I'm not in the mood to draw, I'm not in the mood to art. I'm not in the mood for any of this and it's really a shame but like even though I haven't been drawing I have seen like a ton of improvement in my own personal work like my most recent Copic illustration which was my little girl blowing her bubble gum was probably one of my best Copic pieces and I really like the shading and everything everything feels so soft and may I say bubbly <laughs> and I love it um, and I'm really proud of my work in this piece and like it's crazy how much I've kind of grown and learned and how much I've grown and learned from painting and everything especially when you're looking at pieces I did over the winter break like um, a little piece of my girl Junko um, my piece of Maki my piece, piece of the Kita um, another piece of Junko, and like my piece, this was during the smut, no, that was actually not, I can, I can tell by the sweatshirt, um, I did a fan piece of Danganronpa, it's just, I feel like my art skills, especially my Copic skills, even though I haven't been using Copics for class, have gotten so much better just from learning, like, painting and learning my anatomy, and just printmaking has helped a ton with my art in a really weird way. It makes you think about kind of shapes and everything a lot differently. But yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on in my life. Um, I've, I guess I've been striking from drawing and just deciding to take naps instead. But I guess that, that is the life of a college student, um, which I'm going to be leaving behind soon, unfortunately. <laughs> Again, apologize. There are guinea pigs right at the head of my bed, drinking. Um, but yeah, I am signing off now. Leave a comment, let me know. Let me know things. Let me into your head, let me know your thoughts. Leave a subscribe, leave a like. You don't get anything for it except for maybe my pretty voice and maybe my pretty art. Um, I'm gonna try and get into better world schedules, but yeah, I, there's a lot of stuff going on in my life right now, and 
and my life was not stable. <laughs> Especially with graduation coming. Um, there's a lot going on right now. So yeah, I apologize for that. I apologize for anyone who's been desperately waiting for my part. Which I don't actually know if there's any of you, but if there is, you are appreciated. But yeah, I am checking out now. I will see you in the next video. So, bye!